Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Slayers by Daily Challenge Runs. This is November 30th, 2018, and we are here to play as the Defect today. As you can see, we are starting with Insanity, Diverse, and Lethality, which is super bad. All three of those modifiers suck, and Insanity and Diverse suck in conjunction with each other. So this daily is instantly going to be a lot harder for us, a lot more complicated for us, and a lot, a lot more tricky to get a win in. Currently, we are sitting on 24 wins and 5 losses this month. One more daily to go and we'll be done. So we really want to try for that 25-5. 24-6 is just not acceptable, guys. It's just not acceptable in my eyes. So hopefully we can pull this one out. But with the, th the, th the lethality, I am very, very worried. It's specifically because of Diverse and Insanity. Diverse and Insanity suck because we're getting 50 random cards. And they're going to be from all three characters. And that's horrible. Instead of being 50 random cards just from the main character, which would be amazing. It is uh, from the... All three characters and that obviously, obviously, makes me very sad. Without further ado, let's jump into it and let's go and um, start the run. I really want to win. I can't look at the top 100 because I've been having internet issues. That's why the daily for um, November 29th is still not released. It's still busy picking uploading. It's just taking forever because of internet issues. And also because in my country, we have a thing called load shedding. What that means is that... They cut our power. They just say, nope, no more electricity for you guys for a couple of hours. Enjoy. And then they do it multiple times a day. So, you know, it does make it very difficult as a person who has to upload and record and stuff to actually get going and do it. So I'm kind of annoyed and I hate my country, but what can you do about it? So that's it. Let's jump into it and uh, let's try to get our win. I didn't even look at the deck. Maybe I should look at the deck. Okay, I looked at the deck and I don't like what I see. So I'm just going to immediately ignore it. This is better. This is Black Lash. Let's me. I don't want to lose Thrace Okay, I don't want to lose Thrace I think I can kill him next turn because of the lethality. And so I'm pretty convinced. That, yeah, I was pretty convinced we had him killed. So I was like, why lose the 3 HP? We don't have to lose it. Let's not lose it. Taking a shrug it off because I want some form of defense. Because right now I just saw a ton of attack and zero defense. And that made me a very angry man. What can I say? I'm a very aggressive, angry man. Now, Stack, can you please stop showing up with Clash every time? I don't want to, I don't want to call bullshit. But let's all be honest, that's a little bit of bullshit. Once again, I'm not going to lose 3 HP. I don't need to. I don't need to. <clears throat> I do like a self repair. Whether I have one in the deck or not, I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to pretend I don't. This first turn sucks like the big one, by the way. Like, I absolutely hated everything about that first turn. To get a generic item and two ruptures, and I'm probably never going to be able to make use of rupture, that just sucks. Because that's a big HP lock to take. For basically no reason. And I'm not, I'm not into that. I'm not into taking a big HP lock. Ooh, we'll cough me deck. Ooh, this is important. Aggrade's amazing, if we have any kind of card draw, which we don't seem to really have much of. Rupture's kind of bad, unless we have a way to po uh, lose HP, which I do... I, I guess Hemochemesis, we have a way to lose HP. Uh, stack, we have two stacks, we have two clashes. Uh, Turbo's fun. Perfect the Strike is probably very bad, because we have one, two, three, four... We have four strike cards, but three of them are perfected strike. And to move three perfected strikes, I think it's going to be very difficult. But in all honesty, I think it's where we need to start. Because perfected strike is kind of pointless for us. We're never going to pretty much add strikes to this deck. Not necessarily. I mean, obviously, there's the chance we might still add some to this deck. But in general, I think we won't. I'm going to lose the three HP just to kill him. I'm going to save more HP that way. Um, so it's fine. If Look, if it's going to kill him, then I'll do it. Then it's a different story. But if it's not going to kill him, then I'm not too interested. So now we need to think very carefully. I think the route we want to go here is immediately upgrading the chill. Because we want to have that, that 3 frost or 2 frost or 1 frost straight up in the beginning of the run. So we have some form of defense. Because as you've noticed, our biggest weakness right now, in my opinion, is where we have zero defensive cards. So I'm, I'm a little bit more uh, worried about that. Let me proc this now. Um... Let's go for dodge and roll and chaos orb. Yeah, I like that. Getting some free heal here while the lucky villain sleeps. I love that a lot. And uh, this looks like a pretty good place to go. So let's let's wake up the lucky villain. Good day, lucky villain. My name is Ajiason. I am here to murder you. <coughs> Please do not hold against me. There's nothing personal. It's just how it is, baby. Okay, so we're gonna dodge and roll. And then we definitely gonna fly knee. We're gonna bane even though it does nothing. Definitely charge the battery. We're using a stack for some super block and some damage. Beautiful. I need to do 29. That's like almost like very easy. So I'm actually very much hoping I can get that done over here. And that was a perfected elite fight. Very nice. 
It's something that's rare and that I think doesn't happen too often. So when it does, I'm very happy about it. Taking Echo Form at this point, I don't see a reason not to. Data Disc, I don't think is worth it. Card Removal, I think is definitely worth it. I want to get rid of more of these Perfected Strikes. I just want to get rid of all the Perfected Strikes. We don't want any of those guys in our, in our deck, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I just don't see a Perfected Strike strat being the best strat here. I think they are better strats. I don't see anything in the shop worth taking, so I'm just going to ignore it. Move along. Another shop, okay. Maybe the shop's a little bit better for me. Not particularly. We can move another Perfected Strike. Goodbye. Goodbye, thank you for coming to say hello, Perfected Strikes. But unfortunately, I have zero reason for it. And this is why... This is exactly why, by the way, that I put the chill in my opening hand. Boom. Now we have 6 block every turn, which is half of the damage these enemies do. Every single turn, which is lovely. We love it. Now there are 2 enemies here, which means it's going to be a lot harder to make that happen now. But I'm going to go Burning Pack and get rid of the shits and get quite a lot of cards out of this. It wasn't as good as I was hoping for, but <clears throat> maybe I can still make it work. So we basically want to kill one and weaken one. Is what I'm understanding. So let's go for the the kill first. See if it's possible. I guess it's definitely possible to kill one. You know what? It was actually maybe possible to kill one with the steel potion. I could have probably killed two. I think I can still kill two actually. Yeah, beautiful. Lose uh, three HP, kill two. Sounds like a good deal to me, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm very much uh, for that. Let's go for a charge battery. Get some defensive here, and then let's just go for a barrage into a. Strike, beautiful. That's a perfect Teddy League fight, and I love it a lot. Give me this uh, Metallicize, maybe? Yeah, I like a Metallicize. Feels good. <coughs> I like power cards. Very much uh, on the hunt here for a very specific good juiciness called our boy, the um, Mummified Hand. That would be amazing for us because of reasons like this. But a great means I can pretty much always play everything. Now, I'm going to take two damage here, and that irritates me because I'll take two because of... Been four damage short, but what could you really do about it? Nothing. So, that's life. That's life. Okay, let's go for none of these because they suck and move along. Mr. Looter. Good day, Mr. Looter. My name is Jason. I'm here to uh, do some horrible things to you. I hope you do not mind. As I said many, many times before, it's nothing personal. But uh, you need to die with one HP. I took a ton of damage for that one HP, but it's okay because we're going to get a self repair out. That was a lot of damage to take before being 1 HP short, by the way. That one hurt. That one hurt me in a way that I don't know, I don't know if I can explain to you guys. So I just want to check, do we have any more Perfected Strikes? Because that's what's got to go. Perfected Strike. 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 I did not see any Perfected Strikes. So we have one single Rupture. As I, I just don't feel Rupture is doing enough in the deck right now to justify being in the deck. Now, what is really good for us? Well, Armaments is super good, so I'm going to immediately put Armaments in the deck. Instantly upgrade all the cards in our hand. It's just going to be good. I don't see how that could ever be bad. Beautiful start. Like, I don't think you can get a better start than that. In all honesty, I'm sure you can, but I'm just going to pretend you can't. That way I feel much better about myself. You got to double... Oh, man, I really want to double Blood for Blood, but I think I'm going to double Streamline, because that's a billion damage. Although, I can just pop this for energy. It's 21 times 2. It's 40-something damage. What is this? Or for one. Don't think that's going to be necessary, but we can put it in here for now. I'm going to double up on... I'm going to double up on Streamline instead of... Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to double up on Streamline. Because it makes it cost zero. I'm going to pop Turbo. I'm going to pop Accuracy. I'm going to pop this to bring all that back. Pop Turbo again. I get to pop Blood for Blood regardless. And I get to pop a uh, Streamline regardless. And then I get to proc this for some extra damage. And boom. 241 HP enemies to deal with. Now, I don't know if we can deal with two. Especially if both attack. Really, gay? <laughs> you made both attack? That is cool. Okay, how do we do this? How do we do this? How do we do this? I think we start with the Blade Downs. Because it's doubled. And now we have 40 damage on the field. Now, 40 damage, unfortunately, as you all know, is not enough to get a kill here. But what we could do is we could go Burning Pack. Actually, 40 damage... It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm gonna burning pack here. And I'm gonna pop this energy potion. Pop the struggle off. Drop drop kick. So so far perfect still attained. We only have to do eight damage to two enemies. As long as they both don't attack, we're pretty much guaranteed to get it. So I'm very happy about that. And beautiful, perfect. Perfected boss fight. Gotta love it guys, gotta love it. it takes a little bit of finesse and it takes a little bit of planning, but you know it worked out fast to get an end. 
Uh, calling bell, you know, I don't mind taking three curses when I have a deck this big, especially since I have a way to get rid of curse with a blue candle. And they have beautiful curses, by the way. And it's just going to give me so much positive, I think, if they think worth it. So I'm going to try and delay to a very late shop. So I'm going to immediately look for the latest shop, which is here. So I'm going to go this path that has one, two elites, or this path that has one elite, or that's it. So I'm definitely going the path that has two elites. So I'm going to start over. Let's go. Let's go question mark route. I like the question mark routes more than the enemy routes. I know that technically speaking, you could argue that it's the other way around, but you know, I'm just a humble man playing a humble game, trying to have a good time. So um, this is like a little bit tough because we don't really have a way to not take damage here. So we will be taking damage here. And that, that someone hurts me a little bit, but at least I got the extra energy for next turn. Really would have preferred to stay on full HP though. Like this, uh, this is horrible by the way. This is like worst case scenario, like the end of the world. It's the end of the world type situation, but to take 13 because we got a bad draw, it's, it's bound to happen, guys. Unfortunately, this is Slayer Spy, and as I've mentioned many times, Slayer Spy ain't your friend. It ain't your friend. Slayer Spy is here for one thing and one thing only to fudge your shit up. I mean, definitely. Give me the curse, baby. Four curses, we're on our way to... Oh, no. I can't buy stuff, I'll lose them all. I can't buy stuff, I'll lose them all. Cannot buy stuff, I'll lose them all. Do not want to lose them all yet. It's too early, baby. I'm going to get as much advantage out of that as I can. So, pop this. We don't want that ever. I think I will go for the... Generic algorithm because it's so much. And then I'm going to go for the weaken. Because this should give me a higher chance to not take damage here. I'm going to have to pop this anyway. Okay. <clears throat> so, I still have to pop the, the block potion. And I still took one. Never mind. That just sucks, dude. That just sucks, the big one. Okay, so we definitely want to make sure we kill one off here. I think that's that's the first uh, part of business. Make sure you kill one off. Because I'm taking essential mode damage right now, and I'm not doing essential mode once. So <laughs> you need to understand from my point of view, this is, not, this is not good. We are not in a good place right now. A lot of ice, no damage, which is scary because we don't get any damage now, which we did luckily. We would have... Oh, he's going to survive anyway. He's gonna survive, he's gonna steal my money! Aren't you guys happy we did not waste them all? Because we just lost some money, baby. So obviously, like, I'm feeling like we have a, a really bad um, balance of cards. Like, I don't know, I've got, like, it feels like I don't have enough defense. Then it feels like I don't have enough attacks. Then it feels like I don't have enough defense again. It's this really awkward situation of, like, I need a little bit of everything. But I'm not really getting a little bit of everything. So... <clears throat> That's making a problem. Also, I'm bleeding HP every single fight. Every single fight. So that's a big problem too. Pop, I uh, think pop turbo, pop generic, pop this, and then pop that. There we go. Get a ton of defense, get five extra damage out. It's lovely. So, just looking at this, I'm in instantly in my mind, I'm like, okay, you know what would be great? A, um, how much HP on? 44. There's no way I'm getting through 44 HP. Let's go for a... We can go for a turbo here because we can um, <clears throat> use burning pack and stack because we don't need defense. Beautiful metallicized, love it. Turbo up in here. Definitely gonna reckless charge, definitely gonna use this, and definitely gonna use that. There we go. We got rid of one, one down, one to go. Now we want to kind of like, if possible, delay this as long as we can until we get our boy the. Uh, our boy the self repair up. So I want to try and delay this as long as possible. But this guy's getting a lot of strength up, so. You know, that's definitely something to keep in mind. He's getting a lot of strengths up, and he's going to hit very hard when he does hit. And as you can see right there, he hits very hard. And I got it on the absolute worst turn to get pain to show up, so that's just very, very Slay the Spire-like. So I'm obviously super annoyed right now, but what can you do? So no self-repair for us, we ended up taking a billion extra damage. It's part of the gamble, right? You go for self-repair play, it either works out and you're very happy, or it doesn't work out, you're not so happy. <coughs> it's part of the gamble, baby. We're gonna take a lot of damage on this first turn against this uh, book of stabbing. A bit worried about that. Pain uh, is a problem. But what's not a problem is the fact that our Blood of Blood was basically free. 3 damage for 18 damage in a race, I think it's worth it. Okay, so we're getting to a point where he's actually just gonna murder me soon, so. <clears throat> I need to stop being a little bit careful. Dude, you're hitting for just you're hitting for just too much damage. You don't, you don't understand, man. You're just hitting for too much damage, man. He's simply just hitting for too much damage at this point. So we need to kill him like right now or we are in big trouble. 
Infernal Blade, you need to be the greatest Infernal Blade of all time, and you were, so I'm very thankful. Very thankful for that. Pommel strike, 100%. So I'm obviously super worried now, because now, you, as you can see, we're in a very scary place. Do I want to zap? I don't think so. Do I want to finesse? I think I do. Do I want to rule holes? I do want to rule holes. That's a 24 damage for 2 energy play. I love it. So as you can see, I'm very worried about the run right now. We're not in a like, super safe zone. If anything, we're actually in a very, very bad zone. I do feel extremely intimidated right now by this run and where we are right now. I'm going to pop the energy potion just to make sure I kill this guy off because I really want him gone. I really want him gone. And I wanted to make sure he was gone, you know what I mean? This makes Blood for Blood cheaper, so I'm definitely going to do it. Obviously Anger, obviously Blood for Blood, obviously the... What are these? Beautiful. <clears throat> so I'm like, I'm truly worried right now. Like, I think I'm in a pretty scary situation, and that does uh, does frighten me quite a lot. So I'm a little bit trying to, like, I'm sitting here like, how can I abuse this? What, what can I do to make this work for me instead of work against me? Because right now this guy is pretty much hitting me for lethal. As you can all see. 36 damage. I don't know how Slayer Spy looks at me with a straight face and says that is legit. But it does. And it sucks, dude. <clears throat> 36 damage again. We are basically dead. Okay, so this is 7 times 5. How much damage is 7 times 5? That's a lot of damage. And it's twice. That was the only, only draw that we survived. <clears throat> so I'm not happy right now. Not at all. Not at all, game. Ooh, 22 HP and the Sneko time. So this is very scary, obviously. Take one, I guess. I guess that's fine. You know, it gives us more for our bang for our buck as it makes Black about instantly one cheaper. So every time we play Curse Blood for Blood, does get Remember, we've got, we got Dividor now. So when we do attack, which although seldom, we attack for a lot of damage. You know what I'm saying? So although it's very, very, as I've mentioned, seldom, and it doesn't happen too often, and we're literally one hit away from death, we do hit very hard when we do hit. So, you know, maybe there's an argument to make. There's a, there's a good chance we can still pull this one back. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm looking at this, and I'm just saying to myself, like, it looks so tight right now. And I don't, I don't like that. I do not enjoy that at all. I would prefer to be a lot more friendly and happy. You know what I mean? I think Secret Weapon is something we actually need to have for the deck. And a Wild of Pants sounds pretty good. <coughs> Voice is breaking a little bit. <coughs> so this is death. Yeah. Especially if he attacks on the first turn. That is literal into death. So I think we got very unlucky with everything that just happened here. And obviously I'm, I'm beyond annoyed right now. Because I am actually just dead. Now I'm on 1 HP. I'm on 1 HP, baby. 1 HP, we have a chance. And now we did. Why are you attacking so much, my good friend? I don't understand. Like, this amount of attacks. You guys, all of you all attacked. No, no one debuffed ever in this run. We lost this daily because every single enemy with lethality attacked all the time. No one debuffed us. No one put our like vulnerable on us. Everyone was just attack, 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 attack. It's so unlucky. It's like it comes down to pure luck. The snake plant starts with a fucking debuff every time, and then it attacks, and then it debuffs, and then it attacks. It started with a 30 damage attack, and then it did a second 30. That's 60 HP. Like, how am I supposed to stop 60 damage? It's impossible. So that's 24 6 for the month. It's just typical. The last run of the month has to happen. That we get the worst run ever with the worst cards ever with the worst rng ever with the worst luck ever against the most bad uh luck rng draws on what the enemies are doing i mean every enemy attacked in the last five fights i did it was just attack 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 the gremlin knob lead uh, um leader which was the elite it attacked three times and only buffed once it's supposed to buff summon buff summon and it, buff it keeps buffing until it has buffed the summons to attack. That's how it usually works. But because this is daily, because I'm actually having a pretty good run at that point, I perfect the first full boss, I perfect a couple of leads. They're like, no, 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 no. We're going to make the Gremlin knob, because it's got the Thality, attack for 60 damage on turn 1. Or oh, well, turn 2, sorry. And then attack again on turn 3 and 4 instead of just summoning. 
I mean, I know it's summoned on one of the turns, but it was just so unlucky. It like just comes down to a very unlucky. This daily comes down to pure luck. You either get very lucky or you get very unlucky. And we got very unlucky, and that's where we lost one. So for now, that's the end of the dailies for now. As I mentioned in yesterday's episode or today's episode or whatever you are seeing this, I'm not sure when it comes out due to the internet and load shedding problems we have in our country. Um, there will be no dailies for December. December will be essential mode ones. We will be doing all the essential ones in the game, <clears throat> which is 60 essential ones in total. Um, of what it's going to be a mini series uh, for two months, and so there's going to be no dailies while that mini series runs, unless of course you got. If you guys really want the dailies, I'll do the dailies. If I get enough demand for it, enough people asking for it, I'll do some dailies. I don't mind. Um, it doesn't it doesn't phase me? It doesn't cost me anything to do it. It's just fun. Um, anyway, so and I'm going to probably do it for my on my own, just off camera. But if you guys want to see it, I will record and I will release. I'm just worried about releasing two status by episodes per day. So let me know what you guys want. I'll do whatever. Uh, it doesn't bother me. Um, but at the moment, there will be no dailies. Unless, of course, there is, between yesterday and today's daily, a massive outcry for dailies. For now, thank you very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit that like button. We got very, 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 very unlucky. Like insanely 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 unlucky i think that is the most unlucky turn of events i had these last these last four rooms this was shit these were bad this was bad this was bad everything was just this this floor from here everything was bad from there from there till the uh, enemy died and was bad and why did the snake plant attack two times and not debuff one time if the snake plant had debuffed once we would have won this daily 100 percent Guarantee it right now. JRPG Gaming, 100% confirmation. Guarantee that if the snake plant had debuffed us once and instead of attacking twice, we would have beat the snake plant. Without further ado, that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.